Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you all are doing well. So guys, we are back with another video, another problem in our Need Code 150 DSA question series. And today we are starting with our next topic, right? So today's problem is best time to buy and sell a stock. So as usual, first of all, we'll be understanding the problem statement, the logic part. And then we'll be having a look on the code part. Before proceeding further, make sure to subscribe my channel. It will really motivate me to create more such content for you. You can follow me on other platforms as well. The link is there in the description itself. So let's get started with the problem statement now. The problem says you are given an array prices where prices I is the price of a given stock on the IA today. You want to maximize your profit by choosing a single day to buy one stock and choosing a different day in the future to sell that stock. Return the maximum profit you can achieve from this transaction. If you cannot achieve any profit, return zero. So here is an example. So what is given to us? We have been given an array named as prices where price of I means a particular element is denoting the price of a given stock on that ith day, on the ith day, right? So what is our expectation? We have to maximize our profit. So the thing is that at a day, we have to buy one stock. So obviously you have to buy for that only you can sell. It's not like you, you can sell before, right? So first you have to buy a stock and then at some different day you have to sell that stock so that you can earn the maximum profit okay and one stock only is there right so we have to buy it and then on, on a certain day we have to sell it so we have to return the maximum profit that we can achieve from this transaction and if no such profit we are able to achieve then we have to return zero for example here we are having the prices array containing seven one five three six four and for that we are getting the output as five so let's say if you have if you have purchased this stock one right if you have purchased this stock having the price one on a given day right and now if we are if you are selling it on on the day when its price is six so how much profit you earned six minus one five right so the maximum profit that you could have earned is five and that's what you are going to return so that's what they have even explained that buy on day two price equal to one and sell on day five where price is equal to six so profit earned would be five so note that buying on day two and selling on day one is not allowed because you must buy before you sell so that's what i have already told you even they have explained in the question here if you will see here in this case seven six four three one so every time every time the price is just you know going down first it was seven six four three one so in this case no such transaction are done right and the maximum profit earned could be zero only. So that's what has been returned. Now, if talking about the approaches to solve this particular problem, so like how how we are how we are getting this five or like how we are able to determine the maximum profit. It's like at a like purchase a particular stock at a given day and just check um, selling it on a certain day. What would be the you know what would be the profit earned or like that. So what what the basic approach that you can think of is that we will like we will start choosing each stock right and the given situation is that first you have to first you have to purchase then only you can sell then so let's say you have chosen a stock on day one with the price seven you have purchased at this price then obviously what you will do then you will start checking for other the price of that stock on other days you will start checking like that and along with that like when you are doing the iteration obviously one by one will be checking so in that iteration within a like first iteration is about choosing a specific stock buying it i mean and within that another other iteration or other loop will be having you know to compare now to compare the price of that stock on certain days right now also you will think of uh, selling the stock only and only if the price is lesser on what you have purchased for example in this case if you will check in this case so you have purchased at seven let's say or you have purchased at six then obviously you won't sell it at three or one or four you will no one will prefer loss right so in in that case yeah you will just end up having the zero profit right so i mean you would have this condition that if a certain case or at a certain day the given price is the price of the stock is lesser than that of the price uh, in which you have purchased 
then you will start calculating your profit and that's how you'll be you know um, keep on calculating profit and you know having the maximum profit update in a specific variable like whatever you have calculated now or whatever you have stored before whatever is maximum is stored in your maximum profit variable so if, if i am giving you a rough idea about this approach rough idea about this approach so it would be something like that uh, we have a start from int i equal to zero i less than n i plus so just a rough pseudo code sort of thing just take it in this way i mean if i list any syntax or something so then so the scenario is that you have purchase is first right so i plus one j less than n j plus plus now here also you have to make sure that whatever the price is the price of j the price of j when you're thinking to you know sell it so it should be less than that of the price of it should be less than that of the price in which you have for example here if you will say or see see here let's say here let's say you have you have let's say we have taken one so what we have to make sure next time when we are when we are selling it so the price of j the price of j should be the price of j should be greater than that of price of i right price of i so let's say you are on five so five is greater than that of one so here in this scenario profit could be four or three three is also greater than that of one so profit would be two then six six minus one five so that's how that's how that's how the thing would be then obviously we need the maximum profit so we will have we will have we will have uh what six returned right so like this is the like a brute force approach i would say and here if you will say so approximately if talking about the time complexity we are just iterating through each element and then within that also we are doing the same thing so big of n square would be the time complexity of this particular approach then obviously you will be thinking okay something optimization what sort of optimization could be done to solve this particular problem so here very i mean a simple thing that you will observe that how you can achieve how you can achieve a uh, profit so if you maintain if you maintain a min variable from the left hand side from the left hand side if you are having uh, if you are having the stock or you are having that the day on which the stock price was minimum or you are having the minimum price of the stock on a specific day then obviously you can you can find your you can find you can find the maximum profit so what we will do we will start you know uh, start our iteration and we will keep track of the minimum minimum price of the stock that we have seen till now in in our iteration part so what you will if you will see here so that's what that's what doing uh, we are doing in our optimized code that here we have the length of our array then the profit and min well so first the given scenario is that first you have to purchase so let's say we have started with the first element itself of our array so min well has been assigned with prices of zero now we will start from i equal to one i less than n i plus plus so profit profit we are calculating so whatever is the maximum value we are going to put this in our profit variable so if the value in profit is maximum or we are getting the value which is prices of i prices of i is what one minus min well so min well is what min well is seven so we will get negative right so profit will remain zero itself in that scenario so a uh, min well again we are updating so what is minimum what minimum that we have seen till this index the already existing value which was seven or prices of i so prices of i means prices of one which is nothing but one so min well will be updated right then then we will proceed further so this time i value will be five so again we will see what is maximum profit profit is zero profit was before zero right prices of i prices of i is nothing but element x prices of 2 which is 5 so 5 minus min well is 1 5 minus 1 4 so which is maximum 0 or 4 obviously 4 so profit would be updated with 4 and again we will update the value of min well so previous value of min well is nothing but 1 and right now the value of prices i is 5 so minimum will remain as it is that is 5 itself so that's how that's how we will proceed ahead and then we will come to 6 then uh, the value will be updated in the profit and like that at the end we'll be returning the profit right so if talking about the time complexity for this particular approach then you can see only linearly only once we are just iterating through each element of the array so big o of n would be the time complexity and we are not using any extra space so space complexity would be big o of one only 
right so this was our today's problem and this is one of the famous problems and has been repeatedly asked there there are certain uh, i would say versions of this problem best time to buy and sell stock second third fourth right so these are very famous problems i would say so yeah thank you so much for watching everyone keep coding maintain the consistency bye bye